So you're probably here because you want to install some Kiriakin lights on your maybe full bagger, your ultra classic or ultra limited, and uh, you want to have a removable trunk, and you want to fill these voids with a light so that when you remove your trunk, you'll have tail lights. You've definitely come to the right place. And we want to give a special thanks to Kiriakin for their continued support of Law Abiding Biker Podcast and Media. Hey, Bikeholics, Ryan Erlocker here, lawabidingbiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. We're going to install Kiriakin lights in this 2014 Ultra Limited. Now, the reason we're doing that is if you want to strip your Ultra down for when you're riding around town or shorter rides, you don't want the big trunk. You want it to look more like a street glide where there's a th couple things you have to consider. Number one, if you want to do that, head over to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Harley trunk. We have a complete install video for 2014 and newer uh, Ultras. You can remove the trunk. It's a detachable system. Again, head over there, get the video. We show you how to install that, get up and running with that. Now, if you do that, if you understand on 2014 and newer, you're gonna lose your lights. You're gonna lose turn signals and stuff. Reason is, 2014 and newer, they put all that on the trunk itself. So when you remove the trunk, now you're kind of screwed and you don't have signals anymore. Now the kit we use in that video and the typical Harley kit comes with some uh, turn signals over here, but they actually um, kind of stick on with double sided sticky tape and they go right below the bags. If you go over and get that video, you'll see what we're talking about. That's the typical kit and you stick them on here and on both sides and that way you have signals. Um, we weren't all that impressed with those signals and as you probably know, if you have an Ultra, they come here ready and they have these voids and these holes as you see down here. Um, so it's a perfect opportunity to get a little bit cleaner look, a little bit better look when your trunk's off. And we thought these Kiriakin lights were really, really cool. So we purchased this. Don't forget if you want to support us, if you appreciate these free videos, head over. We got these at, Rev, at our Revzilla affiliate, guys. No additional cost to you. We do get a small kickback if you click through and make a purchase. Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Revzilla will also be in the description below this video. Um, so what these do is they're really, really nice. They're pretty much plug and play. We're going to show you how, guys, how to install them. Pretty simple, guys. They're going to fit right in there and uh, for a pretty clean look. So uh, with that said, let's get wrenching and get to it, huh? All right, first thing he's doing is just removing his saddlebags. Get those out of our way to quarter turn pins. And we'll get both sides. So now we've got both saddlebags removed, of course. He's just getting everything out of the plastic, but that'll give us complete access to what we need. Okay, so first thing, your kit comes with four of these little screws wrapped up in paper and then four of these metal brackets. So what he's going to work on right now is all four of those. He's basically going to screw those into the plastic light housing. And basically what that's doing is creating the actual threads into the plastic housing. We're doing this before we actually mount them and that is the proper way to do it. Make sure when you do this that you're actually utilizing the metal plate because that's kind of a spacer, so to speak. If you don't use the metal plate and you just try to thread it with the screws directly, then you're going to have issues because uh, it's going to go too deep and you can actually damage your LED light. So that's what he's doing. He's going to go around and do all four of these and just create the threads into the plastic light housing. All right, and as you can see, they're kind of a bugger to get started because they aren't threaded, but he's just working it in. He's kind of got it sideways there and he's just going to get these all threaded. And after he has each one of those threaded, He's just going to go ahead and back it out, and now that's ready. Now he's going to go around and do it to, like I say, both tail light housings, top and bottom. And he's just finishing the left side housing, getting that threaded. We're ready to mount these. All right, and so your wires come bundled up. He's just snipping the zip tie because we're going to have to route these wires, so get rid of that. Now he's just going to, and left or right, right or left, it doesn't matter. They're both the same. He's just going to put in both sides. The wire goes through the hole. And now we'll kind of screw these in and secure them. All right, now we just we're working on the back side of these and uh, getting these secured, these LED lights. And with the Phillips screwdriver, you see those metal plates, guys? That half circle goes down. We've already threaded these, of course, to start with. And now we're just, that metal plate basically secures it to the back of that plastic LED housing is what he's doing. Don't over tighten these guys, you'll strip them out. Just get them snug and maybe another quarter turn. You're just going into plastic. All right, and so he's just working on the bottom now. Again, that metal plate, you can see the top one, that semicircle is facing down. 
half circle wall and this one it's facing up and you can see how they're kind of concaved the concaved portion you know protrudes out you could put those brackets backwards so make sure you don't do that all right you just finish and tighten this up tight and maybe another quarter turn guys do not strip that plastic out and of course we're going to do this to both tail lights on both sides of the bike all right now of course he's on the left side of the bike and he's working on the same thing getting that tail light and those plates in you see that really cool law-abiding biker t-shirt mechanic shirt big daddy looking good in it if you guys want to get hooked up with one of those we'd love to get one in your hands lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store we got a ton of stuff over there for you guys biker gripper cell phone mounts and shirts and mugs and headsets and all kinds of stuff guys so check it out when you get a chance helps support us so we can continue hitting uh, and coming at you with these free videos like this guys so you can see these are looking pretty good voids and for a price point um, at the time of this video, I believe it's like 150 bucks or something from Kiriakin. You get these nice LED lights. Now remember, pre-2014, you're golden because off these lights here, you had the signals and the brackets that came out and you had signals out here. But with 2014 and newer, you remove that trunk. They've put all the lights in that trunk, like I said. And so you run into that predicament of no turn signals. Um, so there are other companies that make these, but we think these Kiriakin ones are real nice and a much better price point than a lot of the companies. And Big Daddy working in his garage today. There he is, slaving away. <laughs> Usually we got the lift at my house and everything, but this shows you can still work on bikes right on the floor, guys. That's right. If you appreciate these free videos, we're going to keep coming at you guys with them. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. You can sign up at a certain level, support us per piece of content, let us know you appreciate it. There are benefits over there depending on what level you sign up t uh, uh, level you sign up as there's t-shirts and that private facebook group guys is huge it's like its own forum it's amazing if you get into that but uh again lawbodybiker.com forward slash patreon let us know you want us to keep coming at you with these videos and he's got these secured now so we can move on to the next step all right and you just we're going to remove the seat we need some access a lot of these just have one phillips screw stock but he just got an aftermarket thumb screw makes it super simple but either way just one bolt back there. Get a seat up out of the way so we have access now because we're gonna need to do a little plug and play wiring. All right, and you can see he's got the wire that comes off the tail light, both sides. Really wire management is up to you. You can see how he's running it just under his plastic cover a little bit up into the battery compartment because we need to tie in up there. Kit comes with little zip ties and you can see he's just, there's little horseshoes in the struts, so to speak. And he's just gonna run through that with a zip tie. And again, there's another one right there. And you're just gonna move on up and make sure your wire is nice and secure. Make sure there's no pinch points, things like that, guys. Um, again, completely up to you. And then he'll run it behind this cover a little bit and up into the battery compartment. As usual, we're gonna make this wiring very simple for you here at lawabidingbiker.com because paper instructions suck and we found them lacking a little bit on this Kiriakin product as to which is left and which is right but we'll get to that first what we're looking at in his hand right now this comes with your kit so he's got a wiring harness hold that up high it's hold it up high it's separated so you can see this is just a wiring harness guys it's got a male end female end we'll get to that in a minute that will come with your Kiriakin light set all right in the back here you'll see these are the two uh tail lights that we ran um, you see the white plugs there that he's holding left and right side. We ran those up. Of course, we zip tied those. Those are coming in. Now, a couple things to note. This is a ultra limited. And uh, so you'll see a big, long wire and harness. That's stock, guys. And what that is is because we removed his trunk. Remember, that's why we're doing all this. Don't forget lawbuddingbiker.com forward slash Harley trunk if you want to learn how to do this detachable system. And so that just sits under his seat right now because his trunk isn't on. What he's going to do now is take that Kiriakin harness. He's got dialectic grease that comes in this kit, guys. And they want you to put some dialectic grease down in the plugs that we're going to plug into. So do all that. Now he's going to plug in the Kiriakin harness that came with the kit into his trunk plug. There we go. Now you can see from now on, he's got an extended trunk plug and he's just going to plug his trunk right into that one that he's holding. Um, so all it's doing is extending it a little bit. And then there's gonna, you're gonna see here in a second, there's a couple new wires coming off that. And so he's putting dialectic grease and all that. That's what they want. 
and now that's just going to kind of sit under because his trunk's off right now. All right. Now you can see off that harness, the reason we put that Kiriakin harness on is there's two additional wires. And of course, bingo, they plug right into the new signals. That's why we put that little harness. He's going to put dialectic grease in both of those. All right. Now, one thing here before he plugs that in, we, this is where the instructions lack big time. Typical of, of motorcycle instructions, guys. They don't tell you which is left and which is right coming off that wiring harness. So we figured it out. Of course, plug them in, test it to make sure. If not, switch them around. But we noted that the one coming off the Kiriakin harness with blue and purple, look for the blue and purple wire, that's going to be your left-hand rear signal. We've already figured this out for you guys, and it says nothing about this in the instructions. Then he's going to move over to the other side, a little more dialectic grease, of course. And we found coming off the Kiriakin harness on this side, you're looking for a blue, and it's kind of a burnt orange type wire so look for that burnt orange type wire and that is going to your right signal and again hopefully this is helpful because the instruction said nothing about that that will make sure and then of course test it before you button everything down but that's all it does is plugs those twos in and the rest of the the wire management under your seat is up to you guys how you kind of want to stuff that down in there but um, now we're going to go around and of course test everything and make sure that it's working and you should do the same all right and so we're just testing it now and left signal we're going to make sure, yep, we got a good left signal, right signal. There we go. And go ahead and hand front brake. Yep, and you see both sides plus a stock one. And then go ahead and foot brake, rear brake. Good, everything's working. Now we know we can button it down. Okay, he's just putting the seat back on. Don't be worried about all the wires. Uh, he just coils them up underneath there. This is an Ultra. If you have a street glide, you won't have nearly that big a bundle. All right, and of course, just getting the saddlebags back on there, both sides. Two quarter turn pins on the inside, guys. Pretty standard now on Harleys. All right, we're gonna get you guys the best shot you can. There's a right signal, of course. There's a left signal. Again, this will be great for when he's running without that trunk. And there's brake lights, guys. So again, those are the Kiriakin guys. And a pretty awesome deal to do to your bike because he can now run his bike without that trunk and be stripped down when he wants. You can see the difference. The top one goes at the bottom. Oops, you'll have to get your hand out of the way so we can see what we're working with first. That's a different angle than you did before. Okay, good. If you keep your hand down low like that, I'll be able to get the shot. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also sign up for the free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.